So today we're going to take a look at Web API projects and how to default them to XML so that we can view data with Microsoft Excel. Uh, Web API, new template as part of MVC4, and we'll say export test. This template allows us to make endpoints uh, primarily for JavaScript development, so we can do JSON data, hit it with a git or a post, and then return back JSON data. The dilemma there is if an end user wants to view the data with Excel, and Excel does a little bit better with XML formats. Um, get XML from this URL address, get XML from a file, and so one of the things we can do with our Web API template is to change the default data type to XML and then we will have support for connecting to Microsoft Excel. So here we have a default new Web API project and we have value 1, value 2 for a specific git. Um, we have a single value that gets returned and we can you know, certainly run those and do some tests. It'll come back with JSON data. One of the things that we can explore is over here with Web API config we can actually change some of the formatters um, in order to do XML when there's no content type header as opposed to defaulting to JSON. So let's go ahead and run what we have. So here our Web API template started up with the welcome screen. We can come over to something like Chrome Postman, put in the URL, API values, send a, an HTTP GET, and we'll view the return as JSON data, value 1, value 2. And if we do a specific get with an ID number, that comes back with a single value. But again, we're, we're not specifying anything in our headers. There are, there are no headers here. And it's returning JSON data by default. The challenge is if I were to put this into Microsoft Excel, it would have a hard time parsing that information. So let's go over here to our Web API config. So we'll go ahead and put a comment here that we're changing the default to XML. And the way we do this is with config.formatters.clear to take out the settings that are there. And then we'll do config formatters add. And this is going to be a new system net HTTP XML media type formatter. And that is the one that will put XML first on the list. And then what we're going to do for JSON is make that second. So simply by clearing the setting that's there, adding XML, and then adding JSON, we reverse the order a little bit. Let's run that again. Okay, so we have our updated version running. We'll go to Chrome Postman, execute our GET request. Again, no headers. And this time, our data is very different. We're getting back an XML format when we lack a header. Uh, and this is really where we want to be from an Excel compatibility standpoint because Excel can understand read XML from a URL and what we'll be doing is we'll give it the URL up top knowing that Excel has no way of providing a header we'll simply give it a URL only it'll receive XML and be able to go ahead and display that in table format um, let's get this published and then switch over to Excel okay so now we have it deployed to port 81 and we can navigate locally to see the XML values by going to sp colon 81, which is our website in the back here called Web API. And then export test is the name of the web deploy. And then we have the relative path API values. So we punch in a URL and we get XML data. Let's leave our virtual machine for a second and we'll go to a remote PC. We're going to do the same connectivity test with the same URL export test, we're able to get the home page. API values, we're able to see raw XML data. Now from the remote PC we have Microsoft Excel. So let's go in here and do a new workbook. 
we're going to go data connection, other source from XML data import. And at this point, we can put in a file name. I'm going to put in a URL. Now it pops up, we give a little message about the schema, where do we want to place it on the workbook, and here we have value 1, value 2. If we right click we can do XML source, and that shows the schema of the uh, XML data source we have. And then of course over here we have data connections, we can come in and modify properties about refreshing on open and all those sort of things, but this is a URL driven XML file. So instead of a local file or a network folder, we're going to pull XML data from a URL and go ahead and display it inside the workbook. Um, I like this pattern because you can use it for both JavaScript to do your custom development and you can use it in Microsoft Excel for power user reporting. And being able to hand an Excel file to a power user that has a connection with live data. It's a wonderful thing. It's a great use of uh, or reuse of the web API code to display both in Excel for power users um, but still being able to do JavaScript by adding the uh, accept JSON header. So that is our demo for how to get web API data into Excel. Thanks for watching.